the meaning non natural meaning this is also called conventional meaning first we try to understand it in the previous module and now in this module you will know how conventional meaning is associated with the gender because the whole course surrounds uh, uh, around two things language and gender so whatever we will discuss ultimately we will study the relationship between language and gender through that now we related with gender we succeed in conveying what we want to convey because how can we assume that my addressee would recognize my intention so how we are successful to assume this we succeed in conveying what we want to convey only if the hearer recognizes our intention number 1 now the question arises how does he she recognize and number 2 the shared conventions or knowledge helps the speaker and the hearer to relate words with meaning how now the speaker assumes my intention will be recognized the question arises how the answer comes that the speaker and the hearer both have shared knowledge shared information and by using and by relying on that shared knowledge the speaker is successful in conveying intention and the hearer is successful in understanding the intention recognizing the intention this sharing shows when you use the term sharing automatically we we would say that it is a kind of cooperation between the two so this sharing shows they cooperate with each other and this expectation of cooperation actually makes the communication possible and this is because of this mutual cooperation mutual expectations that they understand each other why do words have same literal meaning in our community to understand this point that i raised in this slide we would discuss how literal meaning of the words is decided in a speech community as i told you earlier the whole community agrees that such and such kind of thing would be labeled like this and every member of the speech community uses that word in the same meaning in every context wherever that person now because all members share that meaning so they understand that word in that meaning in every context this is how literal meanings lafzi matlab of the words are determined this sharing of meaning make the communication possible but in communication we say beyond literal meaning we go beyond literal meaning you have seen it in the examples that words words were for example in the last dialogue words were i am in bath but the meaning derived was i cannot come to attend the phone so it means we go beyond the literal meaning when we communicate do we have the same level of sharing or cooperation in this case too this is something difficult and a question that is more challenging let's see is there any kind of cooperation or sharing here too as we have in case of literal meaning yes interestingly the answer is yes on one side is speaker's intention and on the other side is hearer's recognition 
this is communication but the hearer has access only to what is said he she has no direct access to what the speaker intends or what is unsaid the hearer listens to what is said he has no access to what is unsaid and that unsaid is intention and how the hearer reaches that what is unsaid let's try to get its get its answer because we have said yes there is cooperation again the recognition of meaning depends on what community agrees certain words will mean in certain context okay if a man says to a woman you think like a woman he assumes that the woman recognizes it an insult how the speaker assumes this and how the hearer the woman understands it as insult where is that agreement of community where is that cooperation between members of the community that gives such meaning to such utterance she recognizes that speaker means to say your thought is flawed like a woman and this is how she takes it an insult because she knows the whole community understands women as inferior to men in thinking they are intellectually inferior so community agrees upon this conception of woman and that's why like literal meaning wherever this expression this utterance would be uttered it would be taken in this sense so literal meaning and non natural indirect meaning both are result of cooperation between members of a speech community and because of this cooperation the uh, because of this cooperation we form a shared knowledge in our mind and whenever we talk that shared mind uh, meaning that shared knowledge and information helps us to understand each other we conclude to understand meaning in communication we need access to shared resources okay shared meaning of words and shared cultural beliefs or stereotypes shared information consists of two types of information we should also know the shared meaning the literal meaning of the words and the cultural meaning of the words and both are consensual agreed upon meaning in the society every member of the society shares with them that's why they become shared resources for all members of the speech community and we are easily uh, able to understand each other